Clark from Puma. 49-38, he comes with the final. Uh, Kimar Mort, TRS. Uh, Troy White, GC Foster. And Malik James King, uh, Legacy Athletics. I think we might get the, the individual um, introductions. The 632 is Owen Russell. Represents uh, racers. He's in lane two. I think everyone, everyone eight. has turned up. I think we As start the on the outside with uh, Malik James King in lane the eight. World under I think. 20 finalist from 2018. Welcome from Legacy Athletics, Malik James King. So we're not getting a look at uh, James King at. Uh, but you could believe me, he's in there. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see him there, <laughs> and the cameraman is there now. In lane number seven. And in seven is Troy White. Well, Brandon that is Malik James King. Legacy track and field. Well, this is Troy White, GC Foster. He has been running College. well all season, Troy, Troy White, White. Took the opportunity to compete at the Olympic Destiny Series. Kamar Mort is in sixth, TRS. In lane number six. He has run 48.90 this year, qualifies him for London. the Olympics. He only TRS. needs a top three finish Come to guarantee his spot to Tokyo. Andre in Clark, representing Puma, comes in with a time of 49.38. Yeah, the second fastest time coming in for the 29-year-old representing, representing Puma. Looking Andre good Clark. in qualifying yesterday. The incredibly in talented four. young man, Jaheel Hyde, um, represents Sweat seconds. Track Club, comes in Commodore with a 49.14 fastest time going into the final. He Jaheel said that yesterday Hyde. evening, his personal best is 48.52. He needs a 48.90 to go to the Olympics. The this is Sean Rowe. He represents GW Express. He's in lane GW three. He comes Express. in with 49.57. Sean Rowe. Yes, keep a fella powerfully built, strong finish to his two. race. Owen Russell comes in with a time of 50.48. He represents racers. And Owen ran 50.48, as you said. Owain Would love to go sub 50 to put himself in this battle. And uh, in lane one, Rox Roy Cato, Lifestyle Athletics, comes in with a time of 50.26. 2014 national champion, Rox Roy Cato, 50.26. believe that's a season's best for him coming into this final. Makes him the ninth fastest Jamaican this year. Who might win, Bruce? Kemar Mord comes in as a favorite. The only one to go sub-49 in this field. We should mention Leonard Legisler, the fastest Jamaican this year at 48.79, did not make it to this finals, coming eighth in his heat yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, hit a couple of hurdles. Kato Russell, Roe Hyde, Clark Mowat, White, and James King. Important to watch the clock even more than the positions, Renardo. 48.90, a challenging time, but it's required if you want to go to Tokyo. So a hush around the national stadium. Said. And 48.90, the magic time here for all eight athletes. Jail Hyde went out fast in the qualifiers. He has gone out fast here, Jail Hyde. He has gone already gone up and gone by Andre Clark on his outside, and so too Kemar Moat. The rest of the field now trying to catch up to Jail Hyde. On the outside, though, Troy White going well. Malik James King normally leaves it late. How late will he leave this one? Will he even factor? Jail Hyde in the middle of the pack, starting to motor now. Two barriers to clear. Kemar Moat on the outside. And starting to close the, the gap. Inside, though, looks to be Sean Rowe from GW Hyde Express. Jail Hyde battling. He has cleared the final barrier. He's going. Look at the clock. Look at oh. the clock. 48-17. Simply amazing. Jahil Hyde has justified the years of confidence we have had in him. 48.18 is a humongous time for Jahil Hyde. Amazing run. His personal best before this 4852. That 4852 he said years back. Jaheel Hyde now stepping up after let me tell you exactly when. 2017. He has waited five four years to set to break his personal best. Four years a long time in this career. Jaheel Hyde born February 2nd, 1997. 
twice world junior champion at the 400 meter hurdles got stuck in a rut could not break his personal best which was said all the way back in 2017 but here he did it Jaheel Hyde actually out fastest of all in lane number four, clearing the first hurdle first, and he did not stop. He caught Andre Clark before the second hurdle, and then he put his sights on Kemar Mott, who also had the Olympic standard of 48-90. He did not stop. He prefers to go with his left leg lead. He does that through six hurdles before switching to the right leg. But once he does that, that's the last hurdle he'll do with his left leg. He now switches to go to the right leg. You see that? cutting his stride a bit but even with that he switches back to the left for this hurdle number eight he's going to come back to his right leg for hurdle nine and then go with his preferred left leg over the last hurdle at this stage the race is over the question is does he make the time we see in second kemar mott and sean Rowe battling for those times but look at that time amazing run by jaheel hyde congratulations to jaheel hyde 48.18 row uh, was second in that one and uh, here are the official times row 4960 more at 4961 and troll white 4990 but jaheel hyde 48